What's up guys, Scott Reviews here. We're back with another video. This time we're going to be talking about the November Criterion sale at Barnes & Noble. This happens semi-annually and I love it. Let's talk about it. Talk about some movies that um, I'm looking to pick up, hopefully, depending on if they're in stock on the website. And maybe uh, there's some movies that you might be interested in checking out as well, too. First one, which is Parasite. It came out with a 4K Blu-ray uh, through Universal. But the thing that's special about the Criterion one is it actually has more extras on it. It has a new audio commentary. It has the black and white version of the film. It has a new conversation between the director and uh, film critic, as well as um, Cannes Film Festival press conference and a masterclass uh, featuring the director Bong. So it has a lot more extras on it and I think that's the big draw. Obviously, I would like to have extras and I wish that Criterion would have put out the 4K Blu-ray so that you can just have the extras, but because it's such a great movie, I'd just buy that one as well too. The next one is The Elephant Man, classic David Lynch movie on uh, John Merrick, or actually it's Joseph Merrick, um, and chronicling his life. Uh, John Hurd, Anthony Hopkins, wonderful acting in the film, gorgeous black and white uh, photography. Check it out. There's also a 4K in the UK that's being released, but like Parasite, I'm probably just gonna get both. Next one is uh, a box set that I've had issues trying to get a hold of and I've missed out every time either Amazon has a sale or somewhere else and that's Bergman Cinema. And the only reason why I'm wanting to pick this one up is well there's a lot of Bergman movies that I love that I don't have the uh, individual sets that Criterion put out so might as well just pick up a box set. Next one. Now I do have some friends who've been uh, trying to get me to see some of Jackie Chan's uh, Hong Kong movies and uh, Police Story 1 and 2 is probably a good set to get to get me started in that. So yeah, haven't seen those but they're on my radar. Next one. I have the Blu-ray from BFI on this but uh, it is The Innocents. Wonderful film, kind of reminds me of uh, Hitchcock's Rebecca and also uh, the Nicole Kidman movie, The Others. It has that uh, kind of creepy English uh, quality, uh, haunted house kind of quality to it. But anyways, Deborah Kerr plays uh, a caretaker who takes care of these two orphans and she realizes that something is terribly odd about them. Beautiful cinematography, really well done and uh, the ending's a head scratcher so i think it's a really well done movie and it's always been out of stock every time i've like tried to order that one so that one's on my list to get next one is uh the coen brothers first movie blood simple unfortunately this one does not have the original cut to it it just has the director's cut but it's one that i don't have in my set and i do definitely enjoy that movie a lot and i'd love to check out the new master that is on that set so blood simple next one is walkabout a nicholas rogue film about um, these two siblings who are stranded in the australian outback wonderful film i saw it when it was on hulu when criterion had a thing with hulu and it was just a really interesting film and I was really engaged by it and I loved the cinematography in it. It's been out for a really long time so I feel like out of all the movies that I've listed I think Walkabouts probably might be the easier one to get. All right next one is a comedy, La Cage au Folle. Um, love this movie. It's a movie that was actually remade uh, as the birdcage in the 90s with Gene Hackman. So the premise is that a straight son of a gay couple that owns a drag nightclub uh, brings over his fiance and his very conservative parents. And what they do is that the gay couple kind of hides the, uh, the nightclub and, and everything from the conservative parents. It's really funny, really enjoyable, uh, has just a lot, it just feels kind of, it's, it's a movie that you would think would start hitting hard on controversial topics, but it really just kind of uh, is really innocent and has a lot of fun. And uh, I certainly enjoyed it. it it's, it's a movie that's made an impression on me. 
Uh, it reminds me also, there's some other movies too from, I think, one of the screenwriters. He also did uh, Dinner for Cons, and he also did um, The Closet, uh, La Picard, I think it's what it's called. And those movies just crack me up when I watch them, and uh, definitely this one does too. So I'd love to pick up a Blu-ray. All right, next one is uh, Stalker. It's a movie that I've heard over and over again that I need to see. It's very atmospheric and really well done, and uh, some of my friends' favorite movie. Uh, I also love Solaris, the original Solaris, yes. It's a slow burn, but that's never stopped me from seeing certain movies. So slow burn or not, I dig it, and I feel like Stalker I'd probably really enjoy as well too. All right, next one. I love basically every movie that I've seen of Kurosawa. So uh, the one that I've been missing in my collection is Akiru, and it's a brilliant film. I feel like most of Akira Kurosawa's movies have a brilliance to them, or they redefine a certain genre of film, or they invent a genre of film that people seem to copy later on. But uh, anyways, it's about um, an elderly man who discovers that he has stomach cancer, has months to live, and he starts to reevaluate his life. And reevaluate throughout his entire life, he's been numb to everything, and now he has to think about what truly he feels is important. So it's a beautiful film. It's a very sad film. I love it. And every single time I go into the Barnes & Noble Criterion sale, I look for it and I can't seem to find it. But anyways, it is on my list of movies to pick up. And if I see it, I'm probably gonna pick it up. Well, those are my picks of movies to check out. I'm not sure if they will be in stock or if they are, I'm definitely going to pick them up. What are your suggestions of movies I should pick up during the Barnes & Noble Criterion sale? Leave them down in the comments section down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll hit you guys in the next one.